Did you know that exhibits aren't just about putting things on display? All of the amazing photos and artifacts in museums can be meaningless without the stories, ideas, and histories that go with them. But don't worry, that's where exhibits come in. They can be a really powerful way for museums to convey ideas and inspire our visitors. So let's jump right in and look at some tips for creating exhibits that engage our audiences. Woo! Welcome, I'm Jeanette Rooney from Local History Services at the Indiana Historical Society, and I'm joined by Karen DePau. So we know that museum exhibits are important for sharing stories and information with our visitors, but where do we begin with this process? To get started, we need to determine the big so what. Determining the answer to the so what question is an internal process we do to consider the significance of our topic, our big idea. We have to think about why our visitors should care. Why is this information important? Why does this story matter? Once we have this determined, everything else in the exhibit planning process should feed back to the big idea. This includes the objects and images, the interpretive text, the design, and more. So how does our audience factor into this? Yes, it's vital that we consider the perspective of our audiences and visitors throughout the exhibit process. We could do this by inviting input, creating partnerships, and getting audience feedback before and during the exhibit process. We should also remember that visitors will engage with our exhibits in different ways. Some visitors might be there with friends, and maybe they will just look at a few things casually. Others might explore more of the content, but not take a deep dive. And then there are some visitors who will want to look at everything, read everything, and research even more. According to research, however, the average visitor will likely only spend five to 10 minutes in an exhibit. So it's important to make that time count. There are a few things that we can do to make sure the exhibit is inviting and interesting to everyone who visits it. For one thing, we have to remember that exhibits are not a book on the wall. Exhibits shouldn't overwhelm our visitors with too much content. We should be thoughtful in telling the story, but also succinct, and use only the objects and images that best convey the story. And one hint, we can always place additional information in a binder or an iPad in the exhibit for visitors to read more if they would like. We should also consider a hierarchy of content and design. We can group content into sections or themes, create large standout headings, include a few pull quotes, and then more detailed text. That way everyone, whether they're skimming or reading in detail, can get a gist of the story being told. Considering our visitors also means making our exhibits accessible. It's important that we take ADA compliance and universal design into account. For example, using font sizes no smaller than 24 points, placing content and text in an optimal position on the wall, no higher than 70 inches and no lower than 42, making sure there's enough contrast and much more. Finally, when the exhibit is open, the job doesn't stop there. It's important for us to get ongoing feedback from our visitors so that we can continue to improve and plan for future exhibits. In summary, a well thought out exhibit can take the potentially overwhelming amount of collections and information about a subject and create an engaging story that fosters learning and insights for our visitors and clearly answers the question, so what? Thank you for joining us today and look for more timely tips from local history services.